The Forgotten Rule of Chernobyl When people think of what went wrong at Chernobyl, they think of too many control rods being pulled out. Technical people have referred to this as a violation of the lower ORM limit. But this was a Soviet invention. The lower ORM limit was just something on the books, never intended to prevent the insertion of positive reactivity on shutdown. When the positive scram effect was discovered, Soviet experts came up with a different rule, one that specified restrictions on how many control rods could be extracted and by how much. This rule, however, was conditional, meaning it did not always apply as written. It was written to apply only when the reaction causing neutrons in the RBMK core peaked at the bottom. At Chernobyl, they peaked at the top. Soviet experts had failed to understand under what conditions the positive scram effect could manifest, and rather than admit their failure, they twisted a more general control rod rule intended for something else, and often violated as the rule at the centre of the Chernobyl disaster. But the actual rule they had come up with, and tragically miswritten, they had managed to convince their international counterparts, and by extension the world, that it was merely forgotten. Let us take a moment of reflection to now remember it.